Dungeon Meshi or Delicious in Dungeon is another series that's been pretty highly anticipated. I'm a little bit late on this, but I just want to see, does my community actually want to watch it? If you guys actually do want to watch it, shouldn't matter if I'm late to this. If this does well, we'll continue with it. If it doesn't, we got a lot of different anime to watch. Let's begin today's reaction. A Netflix series. A tiny village. Okay. Earthquake and a man appeared. 1,000 years ago in an ancient civilization, golden country? Oh, right. This is by Studio Trigger, too. Yeah. Beat the maze and you get the kingdom. Ooh, dragon. But this show is not about the fighting, right? It's about the cooking. I'm really hungry. They can't fight because they have no food, right? Yeah, I think that's a big plot point. The animation is very good. Yeah, even if this episode is slow, the quality of it looks very pretty. Bro, focus. Your teammates are dying. Right, the trailer said that the dragon like kidnaps like his sister, right, Fari? So, bro was too busy thinking about how hungry he was that he fucking, his sister gets sacrificed because of it and the entire show is about getting Fari back, right? What the fuck? Okay. Bro, what are you doing? Wake up! <laughs> And then she casts like a transportation spell to us. Damn. You fucked up, Nissan. Laios. And this is the girl I keep seeing in any picture of Dun Dungeon Meshi. Fighting gone. We were too busy thinking about food. How do you say that so casually? It's your sister. <laughs> But it's fine. She's fine in the stomach, right? Okay. <laughs> no food, no money, no sister. Oh boy. This party's fucking ass. I'm leaving. Fair. <laughs> Even the rating costs money. To, for all that prep stuff. Okay. Yeah, I don't really get that logic of, wow, she was eaten by a dragon, let's save her. It's like, how can you just assume she's okay? Okay, that's see, he's thinking about it. Could be digested in time. Yo, we need to go eat. Mm -hmm. Tasty looking foods. Can you afford it though? What? Nah. What the fuck would I. <laughs> so you want me to leave the party, give you all your shit so you can just fucking sell it and go to the raid solo? I feel like if they're not good friends, it's like, why the fuck would we do that? It is your fault! You were just thinking about fucking food during the dragon raid! So she probably just simps for him for what reason? Other than the main character being the main character. Alright, alright. Hmm. Why is she simping? Oh. We're gonna get the food from the dungeon. Because we can't afford food outside, the only way to get food is from the dungeon? So out of desperation, we decide to eat monsters. That kind of makes sense. But like, aren't monsters like poisonous? Like in Ari Furata, if you eat a monster, you just die. Mamono <laughs> mo
Yeah, really, really tasty looking. Ew, no! <laughs> From both ends? How does that? Oh, something moved there. Something moved there. Oh. Oh. A different party? It's a mushroom. Oh. <laughs> what? Look how Cashly just bumps it. They're running away from this mu- No, they're not running away just from this mushroom, right? There's gotta be more, right? Maybe the mushroom's also running away from something. <laughs> First meal, yeah? yeah? Yo. Yo, 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 yo. If this mushroom uh, didn't have another leg right here, this could be easily just a mistake for something else, you know what I mean? Dungeon Gourmet Guide. There's a guidebook for monster cooking? Okay. Oh, the dungeons have like a market. Transform a dark magic? This seems like a really important plot. Monsters come from the bottom of the dungeon, right? Bottom of the dungeon. And the creatures from the surface transformed by... Are they creatures from the surface transformed by dark magic? Or are they from the bowels of hell? I don't know. Protecting something! Probably not. It's probably just because we're fucking broken desperate, right? It's the only way we can get food. Or he's kind of blushing. Maybe he is, okay, maybe he is fetishizing it. What the fuck? Does he care about saving his sister? Does he care about eating monsters more? Hold up. Not very convincing. Okay, the, okay, the main character is a little twisted. So he can cook too? We got a scorpion and we got mushroom. Spoil it? Ugh. <laughs> Cut with the grain. Okay. Well, I mean, that's how she, like, sp like bonked the mushroom in the beginning, right? It was just, like, an overhead shot. Cool. Okay, we got mushroom knowledge. Okay. Why? Because we cooked it? Really? That's the shell, bro. <laughs> Dude, this guy doesn't know how to cook for shit. Scorpion hot pot. Is this our chef? Oh, wait. Master Chef Dwarf has arrived? Yo, look at him debone the scorpion like it's a fucking whole ass chicken. Okay, this is the highlight of this anime. The actual cooking mechanics. The explanations. Oh my god. This actually looks great. This guy's a walking fucking Wikipedia. Okay, he knows everything about cooking this shit. You smell good? Mushroom foot sniffer? Is it good? Yo, he is like, bro was actually fucking waiting for this moment, bro. He, this is not spontaneous. Bro had a fucking entire big ass walk thing just ready. A root? Some herbs? Okay. Because it's planned from a graveyard? Yeah, who are you? Ooh, some slime goop. Now, usually these slime goops are only affecting a girl's clothes. So will it come off right now? Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, fan service? Fan service? The first time I ever died. Is that why the brother is so chill about this? Because in this show, 
you can die but then kind of respawn at some point. So death is not important in this show. Okay. Huh. Uh, okay. Ew. <laughs> Maybe I should use this as a thumbnail, man. Ew. How do you know this, dude? I wonder if Rimuru's organs are also laid out like that. Okay. He just has everything. This dude basically has fucking everything. A portable slime dryer now? What, you made this? So this guy's the MVP. But you already have other ones ready. Alright. Thanks, old man. Ah, he's super... I mean, obviously he's super into monster food. But he, like, studies this shit. Ten years of experience. But it's like a mysterious dwarf just comes out of nowhere and just cooks for us. Okay. Yo, this hot pot looks really good. Let's see it. Damn, yo. Come on. You, you, how, uh, you, it just looks like just like a regular fucking hot pot. This looks so good. Of course I would eat this. The girl's probably going to be a little bit like scary, but uh, like uh, scared of it. Right? She's going to be like, no, I don't want to eat it. But then as soon as she eats it, I bet she'll love it. Okay. Oh, even the mechanics of how to pull the meat out. Umai? I know she wants some. Come on. Get some. Come on. Try a little. Okay. She's going to take the slime first. Damn. Of all the different things, you're going to take the slime noodles. So usually if guy says umai, girls will say oishi. Slime innards. It's probably really good though. I guess it's like a feminine or like a masculine thing. Like a feminine way of saying tasty is the oishi and then like umai is like the, the masculine way of doing it. I don't know. I'm just trying to just guess based on the pattern of behavior I'm seeing from anime. The roots are fluffy? They go into such description of the food too. <laughs> I think we found ourselves a new party member. Senshi. Seeker. Chilchuk. Again, of all the names so far, Chilchuk is the funniest one. Yes, we're trying to save his sister. Eaten by dragon. A member of our party? He doesn't even refer to her as a sister. Red dragon. Crimson red dragon. Red dragon. Okay. Don't worry, a little sister's not getting digested just yet. But I hear, I, I thought it doesn't matter if you die in this show. Alright, Senshi is joining us. Senshi basically is like this show. Without this guy, like, we can't cook for shit, right? Cook the red dragon? Cook the red dragon with the sister in it too somehow enhances the flavor. Holy shit. He's not even scared at all. <laughs> how? So the dragon is in. Sorry, the sister is in the dragon. So are we gonna. Probably wouldn't have like cut this dragon's stomach open and get the sister out, right? We're not gonna fucking cook this dragon with the sister in it, right? But everyone in this show, like. They're kind of crazy. They're fucking insane. Oh. 
Tallest tower of the Golden Castle. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Eh? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> what the fuck? Did that trip not matter? That, that trip was literally just for her to make a funny noise? That's it? Okay. Alright, what's her meal for lunch? Human flesh. Yes. Uh, birds? I don't know. It's like a forest, right? Bats? Rats? Ew. Yo. Got what? In camera cooking in another world. Weren't one of the goblins like really juicy? An orc. No, orc meat was really juicy. No, it probably will. Why are you getting excited for that? Okay, I'm gonna get a vegetarian dish? They, I mean, what did you expect? They're gonna be fucking monsters. Yeah, far-fetched, exactly. The duck with the onion. Or it's not really a duck, but it's like a bird. Kind of. The mouse looks cute. Yoink! What? So we should take the rats out then, huh? If they don't eat it. Okay, well, poop is a pretty good fertilizer. Even coffee, there's like poop beans. Unko. Corpse retriever. I've died before from a slime. So like people dying in this show has no actual... Well, I don't know how much impact it has, but it's clearly like not a one-way wear. It's like you die and you're done. Now you die, corpse picker fucking gets your body and comes back. But then if the body gets disintegrated by the dragon's stomach fluid, you can't really retrieve that. How does that work? I, I don't really know. Let's fight the plants. Oh, she's gonna do something cool. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's look at the magic incantation. Cause some shows they actually go out of their way to like have their own language for magic. But what does it say? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. E A R ear epes. No, okay, these are actual made up like words. This isn't just fucking English backwards, right? Mut pay. Yeah, though these these are actually just made up words. Wow. What? And she's gonna get caught. Is it gonna space the masses to disintegrate her clothing? Oh, 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 fan service? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, you came out alive though. Good to know now, what the fuck? Oh, thanks. Ew. Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's see, can he actually use his sword well? The root. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that was kind of cool. Wait, 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 wait. Did that hit her face? So he cuts? The staff drops on her face? Wait for it? Wait. Wait! Ah! <laughs> the face of the staff went bonk on her head! <laughs> this girl gets bullied a lot. This show is basically everyone's just having fun, just fucking just vibing. And this girl is the voice of reason saying, Ew, why don't we want, you don't want to eat monsters? And she just gets tortured of everything. <laughs> Ouch.
Are you okay? Uh, ありがとう、ライオンさん。え?ん?これはシャドウテイルという生物の皮膚の下に羽を植え付ける。そう、so she has that in her skin right now?その締め付け具合が動けない程度の微妙なバランスをしてて、すごく気持ちがいい。I think her look is the right one, right? Everybody here is a fucking insane, right? Like, what the fuck are you even talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this should be the thumbnail of this episode. Yeah, this entire party is kind of fucking really weird, bro. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you get really weird, dude. First, even the mechanics of how to, you know, fucking take the seeds out optimally of this. Okay. They're actually going to such details about the cooking mechanics though, huh? I mean, that is the focal point of this anime. But I'm surprised at how much, like, in-depth they're going in. Oh, is it the seeds? Or the, the seeds? Yeah, it's the seeds, right? That she took out. Is this a pie? Yeah, it is. Man eating plant fruit tart. Sorry, it's a tart, not a pie. Bro, doesn't need a plate. He just fucking uses his hands. Another scenario where she's just like, no, I don't want to eat, but then she eats and she goes, oh, oh, she. Come on, do it. Oh my god, it's so good. I think she likes it. Yeah. Bro, their way of like describing the food is just like a fucking judge from Iron Chef. They go so much in depth. Yeah. Why is he looking at her like that? Oh, she realized that. Wow, she's finally understanding. Like you know, the monster foods are actually good. Okay, okay. I wonder if she'll actually like give in and later on in the future episodes, she won't be playing the role of the straight man where it's like, no, I'm not gonna eat that, but more like she gets really enthusiastic about it. We'll see. And she's an elf. She is an elf. Hey, what about that guy? <laughs> now we can let the corpus retriever get them. So we can also resurrect with magic. What the fuck? This is insane. Backfire? What happens when you backfire by trying to resurrect somebody? This looks so fucked up. It looks like we're hanging him. Okay, the comedy. <laughs> He's still right there, too. <laughs> looks like we're fucking hanging. Okay, the comedy in this show, it's it's weird, but I see it. I definitely see the comedy appeal. Nightmare from the Foods? Hey, they did a title drop, Dungeon Meshi. Is this hanging his fucking corpse? Sister, yeah, sister. More title drop. I guess that's the episode. Yeah, pretty chill episode. Oh my god, that's a lot of a spoiler, but pretty chill episode. I don't think the purpose of this series is to have like really hyped entertaining. Like it's entertaining in a different way. It's a chill, slow burn. You kind of enjoy the vibes. You get different cooking. Marcel's kind of like, I don't want to eat it. And she eats and she's like, oh my God, it's amazing. And we just keep repeating this. Will we ever save the sister? I guess so. I don't really know. It's kind of interesting how they say casually like, hey, I've died before corpse retriever resurrection. So the mechanics of this world, we're slowly trying to learn. And the backstory in the beginning was kind of compelling, right? The story about how like, some dude just showed up and there was like the golden country and stuff. So I guess that kind of plot is super important that will probably not really matter until future seasons. But yeah, that's Dungeon Mesh. If you guys want to keep watching, let me know. If you don't, then it is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you would enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other plays for more content. And until next time, take care.